Hello students, welcome to this session on speech mechanism. Today in this session, we shall talk about speech mechanism in detail. Uh, we shall look at the organs of human body that constitute speech mechanism. In this session, our special focus will be on familiarizing ourselves with the organs of human body that comprise the respiratory system and its role in the production of speech. In the previous session, we had a discussion about the nature of language and scope of linguistics. No doubt, one of the chief characteristics of human beings is their ability to communicate and interact. And students, to know more about this ability, to strengthen this ability, it is imperative for us to study the complex speech mechanism that makes spoken language possible. So, let's begin with the discussion about speech mechanism. When we produce uh, speech sounds, we use speech mechanism and which comprises of certain organs of human body and the organs of human body that produce speech sounds are called the organs of speech. These organs of speech can be divided into uh, three groups. These three groups are the respiratory system, the phonatory system and the articulatory system. The way in which these three systems work together to produce speech is called speech mechanism. So now let's first discuss in detail about the respiratory system because this is the place, this is the system which initiates the process of the production of speech sound. Students, as we are all familiar with, that respiratory system consists of the lungs, the muscles of the chest, uh, which along with diaphragm make the lungs expand and contract. Then thirdly, and the windpipe, which is also known as trachea. Then bronchi, the two tubes attached to the lungs uh, and the lungs receive oxygen through the bronchi and the primary function of the respiratory system and the lungs which is the most important part of respiratory system is to enable us to breathe. The muscles of the chest expand and consequently the lungs expand and draw the air in. Thus we breathe in or inhale the air which passes through the trachea into the lungs. And when the muscles of the chest contract, the lungs are compressed and they throw the air out. Thus we uh, breathe out or exhale the air that we have breathed in. So this is how the respiratory system works. And this system is important in the production of speech also because we need air for speaking. Or we can say the function of the respiratory system is to provide the air stream which is the basis for the production of speech sound. Uh, this air stream uh, can be called a moving current of air. Students, uh, this air stream acts as a source of energy and is modified by the speech organs as it passes in and out of the lungs during the normal course of breathing. Um, so the point is that the, for the production of sounds we need an air stream. This will become clear if we do a simple experiment. Uh, students say a prolonged ah, ah, in whisper. And if you put your palm in front of your mouth while saying ah, in whisper, your palm will feel the warm air getting out of your mouth. So it's clear that while you are saying ah, air gets out of your mouth. Uh, so this is how that the air stream is needed for the production of the speech sounds or um, 
in some other sounds the same experiment you can repeat with the b b sound so if you will say b in front of your palm you will feel that when you uh, produce the sound p p that the air that escapes from your mouth is blocked temporarily when you close your lips for producing the b and when you open your lips that air continues to flow out of your mouth so the point is that the air that flows of your mouth initiates the production of the speech sound and in the production of p sound it is modified this air stream is modified by the action of the lips so this is how the speech organs modified the air stream which blow, which flows out of flows out so the this is probably why that speaking is also called modified breathing so students here the point worth noticing is that a stream is the basis of speech sounds and there are three air stream mechanism one is pulmonic second one is glottalic and third is valeric and the glottalic and valeric these two air stream stream mechanism are at work in a large number of african and some south american languages the glottalic air stream is above the glottis we will talk about the glottis in detail in the next video and the 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 air stream which is above the glottis is close for the production of sounds using this air stream mechanism which is known as glottalic then the valeric valeric is also just like uh, glottalic and that the sounds are produced with the air in front of the velum velum is the soft palate soft palate the passage of air from the lungs is blocked by the back of the tongue which makes firm contact with the soft palate this is known as valeric air stream but the pulmonic one the first one on your slide uh, screen the pulmonic lung air is used by almost all the languages of the world and this pulmonic air is the air exhaled from the lungs which initiates the air stream this air stream mechanism is known as pulmonic aggressive air stream mechanism because when uh, the air stream mechanism is used to push the air out it is called aggressive and when it is used to draw air in it is called ingressive so when the air which is breathed out initiates the air stream for speech production and it is pulmonic aggressive air stream so the we can say that the pulmonic air stream mechanism consists of lungs and the respiratory muscles and when the air stream mechanism is used to push the air out it is called aggressive i'll repeat when it is used to draw the air in it is called aggressive so all the sounds of english are produced with pulmonic air stream mechanism means the lungs act as the initiators in the process of the production of speech sounds so what happens next how the air which is breathed out is modified by other organs to produce a speech sound will be discussed in the next lecture thank you